I've traveled to, I don't even know how many states, probably close to 20, 25, and played unbelievable courses, met unbelievable people, and overall, it's been very enjoyable, and I, I will look back at this, these four years as probably one of the best years of my life. I had a great experience. Um, I mean, I don't think a lot of people realize really what we do. Um, we've played three or four PGA Tour courses throughout my time here. Pretty lucky to be a gopher. Um, sad that it's over, but definitely made a lot of memories along the way. I didn't know what I was, you know, getting myself into really. Um, I just knew I, I was at a big university, but um, it hit me hard that, um, that this is a big time college, it's in the Big Ten, and uh, so it's, it's, been a, it's been a great ride so far. It was pretty cool just to be able to transition into a little bit bigger program and kind of learn just the different dynamics of golf through Division One and Division Two, as well as be at a big university with some other grad student athletes. Riley and I, we've been at it together for four years. It was me, Charlie, Daniel, Lovespring, and then him. I think he hit on the right side of the fairway and he hits a shot and we were standing there and all of a sudden he just starts slapping his thighs. Apparently he hit a bad shot but he got so flustered that he just almost started punishing himself that way. That was... <laughs> and we all had a good laugh at that and I think he laughs at it today. My parents were up here, we were in a hotel, we were moving into the dorm the next day and Runar wanted to meet up and get to know each other. I get this phone call on my phone, some random number and I pick it up. And all I hear is, eh, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> and so I'll just uh, that's that's one funny thing about Rooney. So Tom was taking a, you know, his business, he's doing his business, and uh, and I go in there and his scorecard is in the toilet. And I'm like, what, Tom, what the heck? I go, I was, and Tom, he's drying it off his hands. I'm like, Tom, your scorecard's in, your, in the freaking toilet, buddy. And and so he's like, what? Oh, okay. I'm like, yeah. And but first of all, you didn't flush it. So that's good. Just the team dynamic at practice is so good. And I think, you know, we have, whether it's Pete, you know, dancing or doing his goofy impressions at practice, is pretty funny. Or Tom whipping off jokes, it's pretty good. Enjoy your time while you're here. It will, it will go by quick and have fun. Enjoy your time with your teammates and the people you, you care about. How to manage my time. I was really bad at it when I first got to school. Um, just get your work done before kind of you take off the tournaments. Really communicate with professors. Um, if you do that, it just kind of takes some weight off you while you are at the tournament. I didn't really listen to people when I was a freshman, but if I had someone to sit me down and say, Riley, doesn't your your ball striking is going to be there. Just get on that short game area, make putts, work in around the greens. Um, that just, uh, if I would know that as a freshman, I think my, uh, you know, a scoring average and all that could have gone down significantly. Yeah, how much hard work pays off and really just if you get focused at a young age, it's going to help you as you, as you get older and um, time goes fast, so take advantage of it. Be grateful for what you, what you're getting because being a student athlete is not not a, it's a privilege. It's not a, don't take it for granted because we're getting so many things that many people never get get to experience. I would say just be yourself. Don't, you know, there are a lot of outside distractions, but you just gotta be yourself and enjoy the journey. I mean, we all come in kind of hoping to be an All-American or win the Big Ten or do this and this, but that sometimes that's out of your control and you can just go day by day and enjoy the journey. That's that's all you can do. Don't be afraid to be different um, than other people, uh, because I don't know if if you're um, influenced by someone else and you think that oh you don't want to do this um, because oh that's he's gonna think of me this way. It's it's totally fine to be different. Um, I I'm kind of different than all my teammates, um, but yeah, just don't be afraid to be different. Um, I would say. Just hard work, I think, really, in our program and our competition that we have. If you don't work hard, it's, it's going to hold you back. So, But hard work when it comes to school, golf, everything you do, just 
be the best person you can be. Hit this nice little draw for him to a foot, just a tap and evil. It's a shot from that round that just sticks out because it was so out of character for me to hit that shot and to actually pull it off. And then obviously after the round, after the tournament, it was it was one of the highlights just celebrating with the guys. They were so happy for me. They there was no envy. There was just joy, and they were they cared so much for what I had done, and they were so happy for me. That was just unbelievable. I would have to go with the uh, six foot slider I made to shoot 49 on my first college nine holes. Um, I didn't realize it was to break 50 at the moment, but I am glad that I broke 50 in every nine hole round I played as a collegiate athlete. <laughs> right my freshman Big Ten Championship, uh, Victoria National, it was, it was the last round. I wasn't playing very well, and then I got on the green and something came over me and like, um, this putt is going in. It was like a 30 footer, and I'm like, this, this putt is going in. I made it. The next hole, around the around the bend, dog leg right, around the whole water, 18, hit it in the fairway, hit it on the green, and it's this impossible putt, impossible. Over the, over the bridge, down, you know, water's long, you jack it by, you're probably going to the water. And uh, I made that putt to go birdie birdie, and we finished, I think we finished tied third. This year, I had um, a shot at the Johnny that was pretty fun on uh, the 18th hole, I hit a big slice around it. On tree on 18 to like 15 feet, like from like 185 yards, so that's pretty fun. You travel to almost every tournament, a lot of you, and I've gotten to know a lot of you quite well. And you, you make this program a lot better than it is. And and to my parents, takkurat og stuðningin og að rosa gaman þegar þú komið og horft á svo nokkur mót. Það hefur verið gaman að vera hérna í kvöld en hlakka til að sjá okkur eftir nokkra vikur. Just thank you. Thank them for everything. I mean, obviously, both my parents made it to every tournament I played in, which was really special. Um, they're always there to support me. I wouldn't be half the person I am today without either of them. Uh, they're both my heroes and best friends, and I'm just lucky to, to have two parents like them. So just thank you, and I love them. My mom and dad have been abs like, absolutely amazing. Uh, with just my development as a person and as a as a player as well and I guess a student too. Um, just they've always been there for me. I can always text them, call them, um, and my dad and my mom will always have the best things to say. Thanks for always supporting me and being around for the last uh, four years. I mean for me transferring was a big decision so uh, all the support there and all the patience is really great.